The ClewPoint Site Profile and Oversight tool is a dashboarding and automation solution that gives me true dynamic control over my company's monitoring activities. By taking inputs from EDC, IRT, CTMS systems, we're able to plot the workload of monitors either on site or remotely, and then balance that with the outputs that come from the central monitoring platform in terms of site risk. Here's an example of a dashboard with some contextual information about the trial at the top, and then I'm starting to see per country the split between workload and risk on this bubble plot, and that's currently focused down to a particular region. If I scroll on past that, I get to see the same information, but now for each of the sites in that region. And I can see in the top right hand corner, I have a site who has a relatively high level of risk and also a lot of work to be performed by the site monitor. So we could take that site and then go and drill down to go and look at what work do we have to perform from a monitoring point of view. And here I can see different categories of measurable monitoring activity, and we can see how many hours there are in each of those categories in terms of work that has to be done. That work is split between backlog and also new work ahead of us because perhaps the site are doing well in terms of recruitment and so we'll have more uh, active visits to go and monitor, we'll have more IMP to go and manage. So we can see the split between work that is backlog and then work which is ahead of us. As I continue to scroll down, the dashboard switches to the risk profile for the site in question. So here we see the outputs from the central monitoring platform in terms of the signals that have been raised from components like our statistical interrogation and data quality assessment, and then also supervised metrics like your key risk indicators. As I continue to scroll down, we have the tabular information and details behind that. And then I'm getting some prediction information from the site profile tool, which is suggesting to me that Actually, in this case with this site, we really want to think about doing some more monitoring activity and it's suggesting some predicted visits that we could then action and make real. So ultimately, when you see something that you need to react to, you have the capability to action it. So here I'm looking at those predicted visits that the system is suggesting. And if this one needs to become real, I can use the action capability to then make that happen in the connected system, which is likely the CTMS, and I can trigger the creation of this new predicted visit that will then slide into the monitoring plan for the appropriate CRA. These actions can be created to meet your needs. So here I'm using an action that is additive, and I'm creating a new visit. I might be swapping an on-site visit to a remote visit. I might be looking at a planned visit and determining that we don't need to do it, so I could defer it or cancel it completely. And those could all be additional action categories that you might choose to implement so that you have the right controls over your monitoring activities across each individual trial that you run through this system.